So I'm going to be talking about screen recordings. Um, and I actually used a screen recording to show my students how to upload their iMovies onto our Google Classroom. So first of all, if you want to have this option, you have to go into your control panel on your phone. Um, I currently have screen recording in my control panel. I can, of course, move that around. Um, I can delete that if I want to and add in my camera, which is what most people automatically have on theirs. Um, if you want to add your screen recording, you would of course delete the camera and click the plus on the screen recording and now you have the ability. You're just going to swipe up to open up that control panel and hit recording. You'll have to wait three seconds for it to start. Um, so I'm going to roll through now how I went through this with my students. So I asked them to go to their iMovie um, and then click upload, go to YouTube. I then ask them to add a title and then change their category to education. And then scroll down and make sure they're public so that we can all watch at our viewing party. Um, I then ask them to share this and Once their video was uploaded, I had them visit. So again, I'm still just, I'm just doing this on my phone as an example, and then I was able to show this to them. Um, once they got here, I asked them to go ahead and share and copy their link. They could see on the bottom of their screen, it said links copied. Then I asked them to go into their Google Classroom app, um, click into our classroom page, click into the assignment for today, and then they're able to actually add their link for their video. So the benefit of using a screen recording here is that I was able to do this on my phone because I was asking students to do this on their phones. So once again, if you want to add this because there's something you're having kids do on their cell phone, it's a great way to be able to show them what they're supposed to do in a video. And then if a kid needed to do something at home, they were able to easily um, follow these directions to get their video uploaded from home. When you're done with the voice recording, you can at that point just click on the little red bar that you kind of see up at the top and it will say stop recording. You can hit that button and it automatically saves to your photos and videos on your phone and you can go ahead and upload that.